question for today is to prove tan a by 1 minus cot a plus cot a by 1 minus tan a is equal to 1 plus tan a plus cot a. That is we have to show LHS is equal to RHS. So let us take the LHS part which is tan a by 1 minus cot a plus cot a by 1 minus tan. So in the first expression what we are going to do is that is we are going to replace the cot a in the expression by 1 by tan a. That is we are going to replace cot a by 1 by tan a. So when we do so we get tan a 1 minus this cot a becomes 1 by tan a and over here cot a becomes 1 by tan a divided by 1 minus tan a. Now when we solve this part of this expression of the first term what do we get tan a we do a normal subtraction we will get tan a minus 1 by tan a plus we do a normal division for this term and it will look as 1 by tan a into 1 minus 1 by 1 minus tan a. So the next step after this is let us see what we do. We do the division of this part. Normal divisions as we do. So we get tan a. This will go up. So it becomes into tan a divided by tan a minus 1. So, and this term we simply multiply and we get the whole expression as tan a into 1 minus tan. The first term becomes tan a into tan a becomes 10 square a and the denominator is tan a minus 1 plus 1 by tan a into 1 minus tan. Now, look here. As you can see, in the denominator, this expression and this expression are quite similar. Only the signs are different. So, we will take the negative sign as common and we will take it out. When we take it out, this plus changes into minus and this expression will become tan a minus 1. So, just have a look. We have tan square a by tan a minus 1. As I said, we have taken the minus sign as common. So, this plus becomes minus and we have our expression as 1 by tan a into tan a minus 1. So, now as we can see, our denominators have are almost similar. We go for a subtraction by LCM method or the other option is we can multiply in my first term with a tan a in the denominator and in the numerator. So as you can see the denominator is now same tan a into tan a minus 1, tan a into tan a minus 1. So my subtraction becomes easy. My denominator I can write it as tan a into tan a minus 1 and from here we get tan square a into tan a is tan cube a minus 1. Is it, isn't it? Now we look at the numerator. The numerator is of the form a cube minus b cube where a is tan a and b is 1. So 1 cube is 1 and tan a cube is tan cube a. Further, a cube minus b cube can be written as a minus b into a square plus b square plus ab. So, what we can write about our numerator is we can write it as tan a minus 1 into tan square a which is nothing but a square b square will be 1 square so it becomes 1. 1 square is 1 
and a into b is tan a into 1 which can be written as tan a and the denominator is we just bring it as it is tan a into tan a minus 1. So as we can see this tan a and this tan a gets cancelled. So we are left with we are left with in the numerator 10 square a plus 1 plus 10 a by 10 a. Further, we split the terms. Split the terms that is we we'll take an individual terms which is 10 square a by 10 a plus 1 by 10 a plus 10 a by 10. Okay. If we take the LCM and add it, they will look same. So I have just broken the terms. So this gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. So we get an expression as 10 a plus and this we can convert into 1 by 10 a is cot a plus 1. So if we see our RHS, it is similar to my RHS. We will just rearrange it. So it becomes 1 plus 10 a plus cot a. So this is equal to my RHS. Hence we have proved our solution. So this is the solution to our question, our doubt question of today. Thank you.